Yeah, let's ask some questions. Did I not get to do this before? What kind of information are we talking about here? What could people be so eager to sell? I am not at liberty to say. Well, that's some bullshit. Any idea who these sellers are? Nothing substantial. We have a hunch they might be linked to Taiyong Medical, but the data chip will allow us to know for sure. How's that? All of our data chips are encoded with unique IDs and binary signature recognition. This means we'll be able to know exactly where it came from and where it went. You've been working for Darrow a long time. How do you like it? Working for a powerful man ensures I am trusted with crucial tasks and involved in world-shaping events. It's quite exhilarating. You of all people should understand this. Alright, well that's not really that interesting. I got the chip. The sellers are out cold. Excellent work. Seems Mr. Darrow was right to trust you. We will send people to take care of the terrorists. Could I see the chip? How about you tell me what's on it first? Blackmail, Mr. Jensen? It's not blackmail, Don't it's a question. Don't waste your time. I won't tell you anything. Besides, there are stones better left unturned. Might as well just give me the chip and leave it at that. Pfft, pheromones. I will charm your pants off. Look, you're a powerful young woman. You're in a position that warrants your access to classified information. I understand that not everybody should get their hands on this, but I'm like you. I work for a powerful man, and I get entrusted with secret information on a daily basis. Plus, I'm the one who busted his ass getting this chip for you. I guess your point is not entirely without merit. But understand, this information is extremely confidential. It concerns Panchea, and more specifically, the Hiram Project. Hyron Project. Never heard of it. I'm not surprised. It is a well-guarded secret. But without it, Panchea could not exist. Such an ambitious project. An installation extending all the way to the ocean floor. The pressure exerted against it is constantly shifting. Yet the slightest defect in structural integrity could bring it all down. That's why we needed something powerful and extremely efficient to monitor it day and night. You're saying the Hyron project is some kind of advanced computer? Yes, I suppose you could say that. Thank you for your honesty. The information is safe with me, don't worry. Here's your data chip. Ah, perfect. A ladies' you man. You don't know what this means, Mr. Jensen. Your help has been invaluable. Thank you. Even though this was a favor for Mr. Darrow, he believes you should be duly rewarded. Here is a payment in credits. I'm sure Mr. Darrow will wish to congratulate you himself. Expect to hear from him soon. Corporate warfare? What is that? I don't know, but I have more credits than I know what to do with. If I had it my way, I'd go to the Hung Wah Hotel and just blow it. On... Vending machine cookies or something. It seems David has a flair for choosing his people, Mr. Jensen. You have done me a great service today. That's right, I have. Glad I could help. Couldn't let information about something as sensitive as the Hyron project get in the hands of the wrong people. No. You can't. No, you couldn't. Yes, sir. So, uh -oh, Meng Yao shit. told you about the project, I see. A little. I'm afraid words can't do it justice. This is not good. I'm, I have to... Sorry, dude. I'm a little bit busy here. To and, fully comprehend uh, the ramifications of what's been created in Panchea. Son of a... <laughs> Jesus. That's not cool. <laughs> like these guys. So, tracing them back to the source. I have to go through that one specific little door there with all these people. Being pissed off at me if I come down. It seems David has a flair for choosing his people, Mr. Jensen. You have done me a great service today. Glad I could help. Couldn't let information about something as sensitive as the Hyron project get in the hands of the wrong people. No. No, we couldn't. So, Meng Yao told you about the project, I see. Yeah, little. I'm afraid words can't do it justice. To fully comprehend the ramifications of what's been created in Panchea, you'd have to see it for yourself. And who knows? Perhaps one day you will. Very cool. I would love to see it. Oh. Maybe this is a way in I can go. If so, pretty sick. Yep. 
hopefully we find this dude from Megan's team without too much trouble. Yeah, right. Uh-oh. That's one way to do it. <laughs> Looks like we got a turret, according to my mini-map. Let's see if there's anything hiding down here. Nope, not a thing. Got one guard there, which is nice. I could probably handle him. Maybe not. Oh, there's one down there, too. Ah! Oh. This is not going to be easy. Look at all the reinforcements here. Fucking embarrassing. Oh, that is so epic. Every time. Why is that hostile? How could they have alerted everybody so quickly? Aren't you the lucky one, BK? Despite how badly you let us down last time, the DH wants to assign another collection job to you. Oh, this is from Hive Security. No one involved this time, so I guess he figures you can't mess it up. The job's in Upper Hangshaw. Client's name, Officer Chung Yao Fai. He's paying in merchandise, not cash. So when you got the goods, stash them in the weapon safe room. Access code is Year of the Rabbit 1975. Okay, back down to Alarmed. That's better. I guess I could have done that without them even seeing me, but, uh, it didn't happen that way, so... Here we are. Random computer area. I like that. Although I'm a little bit cautious. This is pretty intense. They, they got a big operation happening down here. Generic Indonesian pharmaceuticals for less. Okay, junk mail. Crazy Ogs. Kwan, we processed the Bell Tower agent we found last week in back of the Shugu Plaza. He was strapped with some crazy ass Ogs. Lots of stuff we've never seen before. Like, I'm talking no maker's name or model number on a lot of this stuff. He has an eye implant that we can't even activate. Help a brother out. Whoa, I'm excited to see this stuff, but I think I'm going to be able to help you out. I don't think I'm going to be able to help you out. I think we're going to have to send it to Zeng. This shit sounds way beyond me. It's almost impossible to keep up these days. Those parts... Uh, let's start here. Wait a minute, I have a pectoral aug with a weird serial number. Because of this, I don't know how to price it. So these guys are... This must be the, uh... We must be in, like, Harvester area. It's late model Agaki. Serial number... Those parts were made before standardization, but they are well made. Valuable. $4,000, no sweat. So you're going to cut me in on the profit. Probably should. I don't really care for the uh, remote detonative stuff, but, uh... I'm just gonna leave it there. Access grant. All right, whose computer is this? Zhang Li. Tong, I thought you might be interested. Oh, so hi yeah, Hive Master Tong, right. 
I thought you might be interested. Besides the usual Asian-made augs, the BT boys dropped off a beauty, a Seraf series arm with a modified combat chassis. This little bastard uses microcharges to propel the shrapnel. They've even figured out how to beat the back bass problem. You have to come see this thing. So they have... <laughs> they have a... Maybe a copy. BT boys dropped off this beauty. They have a copy of the Typhoon, maybe? I want to get that arm ready to go. I don't want it sitting around. Interesting. I wonder if they want to implant uh, Tong with the arm. That's kind of cool. Hey, Kate, I have in my possession a Steiner Heppel Obturator three-quarter leg aug. Perfect condition except one hairline orbital rupture. Any idea how to fix it? Whoa, where did you get one of these? You guys been mugging Olympic athletes? It can be fixed, but you'll have to wrangle a micron plasma bonder. Junji works in a shop that has one. You should see him about borrowing it. About, um, borrowing it. And Nigerian Embassy. Great. Okay, so... I don't even know where we are here. I'm kind of like all ass backwards, but... Oh, we got a safe. Oh, pretty intricate, actually. I can't get to any of the red, so I have to go to the greens. We only got the one data store, which is kind of interesting. Whoa. Access grant. That was pretty close. Heavy rifle plasma rifle cooling system. Laser rifle battery. What? What is that thing? Let's drop the stun gun darts just for a second here. 500 laser rifle battery. An energy dense battery pack that utilizes silicon nanowire nanotechnology and is capable of storing over 10 times LS66 laser rifle. Well, that sounds pretty cool, but uh, I don't think I'm going to be using that, so I'm probably just going to drop it. I would like to take this thing to potentially sell, but you know what? I blew up my guy anyways. So... There's not really a point in taking it, because I can't sell it. Because he's dead! I accidentally destroyed his face. And, well, to be honest, the, uh, the rest of his body. Where in the shit are we? This will just bring me back through to the other side, I guess. Yes, okay. Now, let me just check the... Let me check this situation out here. See if there's anything that I missed. Got more walls. If I blow this through, these guys for sure are gonna see me. Right? Probably, so I'm not gonna do that. This is a lot of- this guy must be like heavily guarded. I'm right above him. Is this the- no, that's a heavy rifle. It's not a laser rifle. Whoa. I have to go down a level. So hopefully I can hack this without getting spotted here. You know what? Let's just use, since I have so many of these things. Looks like we're getting close. Oh, are you kidding me? Dead end? Shit, it's so close. Uh oh, frick. Street level. 
Okay, I don't really want to be going out that way. I don't need to. So I got three guards here I may need to take care of. Two that are right underneath a uh, security camera. It may be best, and in my best interest, to just not do that. going. If I'm not mist- is that guy on the- Maybe I can take this guy down here. Did I miss that? I must have. And this guy's like sleeping. Oh no, okay. I just must have not hit him great. Yeah, so these are harvesters. That we can confirm. How many more? Just this guy sitting down here? He must be sleeping too. What all these guys do? Got one in the back room there. Looks like he might be on his own. That could be a good target actually. Ah shit, he's gone. Okay, wait a second. Hmm. What do we got here? The Singularity Church of the Machine God. Our manifesto, have you ever wondered about the fate of our species? We exist in a time unlike any other. A time where man can go beyond the tyranny of flesh and embrace a new tomorrow. We share the belief of manifest destiny for our species. A future where human instrumental instrumentality evolves into a form beyond our crude flesh and blood. The next evolution is near, coming together of man and machine, a synthesis greater than the birth of a human organism. This is the singularity, the god and the machine. Many cultures predict an end to humanity in the near future, a final Armageddon that will end the world, but we disagree. We know the future of man. Join us. Understand the path that unfolds before our species grow beyond the bounds of flesh and blood. Embrace the singularity? Uh, yeah, okay. How about, how about, no. Revolver, boom. Do I have a guy? I do have a guy very close here. Oh, that's the guy in that room. What do we have here? We've got to be close. Shit. Just closing that door even. Oh, frick. Oh, oh, that was pretty close. Now, did this guy have a, th a safe code? I think I just picked that up off this guy. 
Yes, it did. Ooh, what do we got here? Painkillers. The Daryl book. Understanding vision, part two. Okay, let me check that out in a second here. When I'm not under immediate threat. Hello. Oh, this is the other wall we could have punched in. And even another one, which all leads back to the same area. So, okay. I'm going to take a break here. When we come back, we're going to go... We're very close. We're very close to finding our missing scientist. Sevchenkov, I think his name is. Uh, yeah, Sevchenko. So, when we come back, we're going to find him. We're going to read the Hugh Darrow book. And, uh, continue unraveling the mystery of what this shit's going on. Alright, thanks. See you guys soon.